that this is an important moment. Now we've seen the 15 counts in the indictment. And basically they, in some total, involve an alleged scheme to beat taxes, to defraud taxes. Assuming prosecutors have proof that can meet their burden, can they show that Donald Trump had knowledge of or was part of this scheme? Now, he is not named. He is not charged. But people who know the workings all say the same thing. The former president, Donald J. Trump, knew everything that was going on. There is nothing that happened at the Trump Organization that did not go to Donald. Nothing big happens at the Trump Organization without Trump's knowledge. But at trial, you only know what you can show. So now that we have the details of the indictment, let's bring somebody who saw the game on the inside and somebody who lived it on the outside. We have Alan Weisselberg's former daughter-in-law, Jennifer Weisselberg, and former Trump Org VP, Barbara Rez. The book is called Tower of Lies. Good to have you both. Thank you, especially on short notice. Barbara, reading the indictment, what they say took place from 2005 for about 15 years thereafter, and how it worked through Weisselberg to others as well as himself. Sound familiar? Well, it does. I mean, I haven't read the whole indictment, so but from what I can tell, uh, basically, um, Trump has always been doing this kind of thing, evading, uh, helping people evade taxes. And, you know, back when, when I was doing Trump Tower, he was paying people expense money instead of his salary. Oh, just give me any bills and I'll pay for it. And you know, that was his attitude. Now, is that because that's how it works in that business, so that going after Trump for this is unfair because everybody does it? You believe that? No. <laughs> Sometimes it's unfair, but not in this case. Nobody does that. I've never had that come Second out. layer of it would be, yeah, okay, maybe they're right, but that's Weisselberg. He had all the control of the books. He was the one who was deciding what he gave himself and others. You don't see me getting any of that money in there. Nobody's accused Donald Trump of getting anything wrong. I just signed the checks, but I signed whatever he put in front of me. I knew nothing. Well, I'm sure there are checks that he didn't know anything about, but if there was anything major... Uh, anything like giving away a property or, or paying for someone's school or paying someone's rent. And of course that wouldn't happen without Trump. Trump was the one who decided that. He's the one who came up with it. Now, Jennifer, you lived it. And when the tuition was paid or when the apartment bills were paid, um, Barry, your ex-husband, did you have any sense that this was something that uh, the former president, Donald Trump, knew about, was aware of, and endorsed absolutely um, feeling or fact uh, in various deposition and when he would come home we would talk about how every january he would meet with donald and alan and they would go over what his raise would be for the year and it would be i'll pay your daughter's tuition in lieu of a raise this year i got it or um you know if there's a partner becoming available no, I got it. I got it. It's available. And this was Trump saying it to your ex husband Yes. And was there an understanding by him or by you that there was something fishy about this, or was it just how they wanted to do it at the company? Um, I think we have to keep coming up with something to keep giving. In lieu of a raise, I think it's difficult for somebody when you only make $200,000 in 21 years, right? It doesn't give you a lot of control. Um, that was difficult for us. I uh, think that that um, Donald decided, but he knew that Alan was going to, you know, put that down accordingly in Trump payroll court. Right. He planned on him doing it. Now, the other thing is, I've talked to both of you about this separately. Um, the idea that this is all there is, Barbara. Uh, the New York Attorney General today uh, was suggestive yeah. that we're going to keep this investigation going and follow the facts. I'm not blown away by this level of charges. 15 felonies, I, I wouldn't want to be facing the time, but two years, all this intentionality, the New York AG and the DA's office, and this is what you have. Does it seem suspicious to you that this is all there is, and does it make you think there may be more? I'm sure there's more. And you know, to, their, to their credit, they're not saying this is all there is. They're just saying this is what we're doing now. Now, I hear the talking heads, and some of them say, oh, that's it, you know, this is nothing, they're blowing things out of proportion. And others who say this is the tip of the iceberg. And as far as I know and can tell, that at least one, I don't know why they're not going after the bank for the insurance for it stuff. And I'm thinking maybe that'll show up on the radar. The Trump ledger, 
What does that mean to you? <laughs> it doesn't mean much because everything was you know, haphazard with Trump when I was there. It was not, you know, anything that really they took good care of. Two so, sets of books. Yeah. Is that possible? Or? Absolutely. Of course it is. Well, but let's dig at it a little bit. Because if it's really haphazard, if it's completely not organized, if it's completely ad hoc, as they say in the law, like you just did it, well, then maybe he didn't have the, uh, the intention to have two sets of books and be that deliberate in defrauding the government. What do you say to that? You know, maybe Donald didn't specifically say, you know, I want you to keep two sets of books. He knew Alan knew how to handle it. But Donald would say, of course, we know that this has got to be on the QT. We can't publicize this. You know, mm. this is... Now, uh, with you, Jennifer, people would like to be able to say, well, this is the ex-wife. You know what I mean? They, they had a tough divorce. Of course, she's going to say these things. You gave documents to prosecutors that showed these things. That was your value to them. It wasn't, I'm mad at my ex-wife, uh, my ex-husband. It was, look at these documents. In light of that, in your understanding of the situation, the family dynamic, the whole suspicion here is, is this serious enough for Alan Weisselberg to say, holy cow, this is going to be bad for me and my kids. I have to work with the prosecutors even though I have a loyalty to Donald Trump. Do you believe this is enough heat on him? for him to give up Donald Trump? Watching him in handcuffs today and seeing him walk uh, in handcuffs, I don't, think he, I don't think he can watch his kids do that. I just don't think he can. Uh, that, was, that was painful. I think it brought a real awareness and stark reality to it. What do you think? About whether he's going to give up Trump? Uh, it's the same that, you know, <laughs> he's so loyal. I mean, if the man did something to break the law, which I believe, even whether, you know, I'm not the judge or jury, but why would you be loyal about that? Loyalty shouldn't have to do with covering up bad acts. You know, it's exactly just, what it has to do. No, when, no. When it, you're in a criminal organization, you know, if yeah. that's what's happening, well, that's see, exactly that's what loyalty point. is. That's the very point. You're not talking about a regular employee. You're talking about a, a, another, another criminal. And so, in my mind, Alan... Even though I'm sure he was involved and, and he knows all these things, I hark back to when he was just a regular person. Like anybody, you know, be friendly, have lunch, whatever. He wasn't like a Manafort or a Roger Stone or even a Michael Cohen. He wasn't a, a, an animal back then. So maybe he's evolved into that situation and maybe he's like got the loyalty thing that's sort of like a godfather thing going. Well, but, but from my point of view, loyalty is something that you offer in terms of not, you know, working for someone else or, or keeping the company secrets or not covering up for a crook. Yeah, you're, you're seeing loyalty as a form of integrity. Yes. Uh, I think that this is more about just uh, power dynamics. But here's what we do know. He hasn't given them up yet, which means one of two things. One, it wasn't worth his time to do so. Or two, he doesn't have what prosecutors need to implicate the former president. We'll see. But I do know this right now. You understanding the inside and you understanding the dynamic of how these gifts were received and how they were understood, very helpful. Thank you very much, both. Thank you. All right. So